Assalamu alaikum guys, uh, this is the second part of the video where I'll show you on how to map a custom mouse gesture to launch an application. First, let me show you what I did, what I did with Windows Media Player. So here V, V launches the application. Okay, first I have to uh, disable the training mode. So here it is. And O will uh, open the video. So this is the full screen. And this will pause the video. This will again resume the video. This will stop the video. See? Close. So this is what I did um, by adding some custom commands. Um, so now I will show you something similar but using Adobe Reader. First you have to go click on a high sign and go to the training mode. And there let's add a mouse gesture to launch Adobe Reader first. So something like this. Uh, no, maybe A and D. Okay, fine. So we call it AD as uh, we're gonna call it. We're gonna launch Adobe Reader. Next, uh, select a running application. A running application would be the Adobe Reader, but no, we're not gonna choose Adobe Reader because we're not gonna control Adobe Reader, but we are going to launch Adobe Reader. So just leave it like that and click on new application yeah just click on all applications next available actions would be uh, the command or program and here the action name is uh, launching uh, Adobe Reader so what's the command just uh, locate the locate the exe file which would be over here come see program Adobe yeah so open it up if you have any additional arguments or switches which you can locate over here or you know uh, type over here just press done and then and then um, launch Adobe Reader and this downward arrow click on next which application do you want to control? You want to control Adobe Reader 9.0. So press next. Available actions. Keyboard send hotkey. And the hot hotkey for downward. Uh, yeah, for the next page is right arrow. And the previous page is left arrow. So this would be the right arrow. Done. And for the up gesture controlling again Adobe Reader available actions again uh, send hotkey uh, left arrow done so now let's try to launch this application let's close it up let's go back to the training mode and what was the so here As you see, this is working. Um, so this is the demonstration. And if you now go to the preferences, now available gestures, you will find some new gestures. This is uh, this is the AD one, and this one is for my Windows Media Player, which I created. Available actions again. Windows Media Player, this is the one that I created and Adobe Reader, where is my Adobe Reader Adobe Reader, okay I didn't classify it over here but anyways you saw it working so let's try it once again see whether it's working or whether it was a fluke um, yeah so now you can add any command if you have if you know some of the hotkeys like maybe going to the full screen mode or reading mode you can just create any gesture just the way I did and you can map this hotkey to that mouse right gesture and then you'll find things working and one more thing when you are creating like for example if I launch Windows Explorer and now if I go back to the training mode and if I want to launch an application but I don't want that application to be launched all the time but, but only when I launch uh, Explorer so now you can create maybe some uh, this zigzag line okay that would be too difficult 
one two three four five okay five moment you call it ZZ and you launch an application which application do you want to control in uh, Windows Explorer of course and now you can launch some application which application should I be launching now uh, AVI Demix right so I've got this uh, QT4 fine so launch AVI Demix done uh, go back to the normal mode so now if I do that zigzag mode over here let's say on Chrome like this one two three four five or was it this way I don't remember whatever you see uh, the application is not being launched even if I try to this do the same on desk desktop it's not working but now if I do it on this or where is it I forgot the I have to check that again I guess and uh, you have to be precise at times one two three four five so one two three four five one two three four five okay now let's try the same over here one two three four five where is that application it's trying to load but it's not launching yeah finally I'm done with the tutorial see you next time so as you can see you can do a lot of things with this uh, with this high sign you can control any application on with the help of some other application you know what I mean yeah